Well, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Tony Collins, president of neighboring Clarkson University, for inviting me to participate in this challenge. Um, and Dr. Collins, I have five students back here. <laughs> you had four. <laughs> Just saying. ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, affects as many as 30,000 Americans and their families. Today, I will become one of millions across America who are donating to the ALS Association in the effort to find a cure. Now, I want to introduce five very brave SUNY Potsdam students who will do the honors. We have Michael Oyelola. The fabulous Jordan Smith. Katie Graham. And Cheyenne Washington. Now, the incredible spread of this ice bucket challenge reminds us that there's a lot of work that we need to do in our communities, not just to fight ALS, but to support many, many worthy causes. So I know that the SUNY Potsdam Class of 2018 has also received an ice bucket challenge from the Clarkson University Class of what? 2018. What? I know you will be responding appropriately. <laughs> Joining me today in this Ice Bucket Challenge is Amy Kellogg, who is the new president of our Alumni Association. <laughs> and we would like to challenge the entire campus community, faculty, staff, students, and supporters, all of us, to get back to the place that we call home. We would encourage you to find a worthy cause in the North Country that you support with your time, with your dollars, in whatever way you can, to support this neighborhood that we call home. So, we have a small list of examples at potsdam.edu slash service. So, take a look and please get back this year. Now, without further ado, I have my daughter, Chan Chan, who will load up the buckets with ice to make sure it's cold enough. <laughs> Michael's bucket really needs to be Okay. All right. All right. Are we ready? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. 